In this video we're going to take a look at how to make head morphs, which are basically um, the different styles of uh, heads you can place onto characters in your game world. So I've got the tool set open here, and to begin with I'll click on far new, and I'll scroll down to morph, which opens up a little grid here, and you just ignore that for the time being. This is the important thing up here at the moment, where it says choose base. If you click on that with your left mouse button, it's got a human male, human female, dwarven male, dwarven female, etc. down there. So you pick which one you want first. So I'll click a human male for now. I've just wait a second for it to load. There we go. So you can rotate this by holding down your middle mouse button and dragging backwards and forwards, zooms in and out. And you can uh, look around left to right. So once you've got that open, if you go down to the object inspector, Let's say number one, material. And basically all the settings here are to add like things like blush, um, different scars, etc. And shading. So it's not major things, but uh it's just little little details you can add. Uh, so you can darken lips, etc. So I'll let you uh, experiment with that for the time being. Um if you click on number two here where it says part selection you can choose a different color for the eyes um, different hairstyles oh that's color sorry so different hair color different hair types so I'll show you a couple there <laughs> um, add a beard etc and you go through different textures uh, there's lots of settings here, there's too many to go through at the moment different tattoos you can add, um, brow and stubble so you can reduce eyebrows, hair etc there so we move on to number three here, it's hard to see if you click on that little arrow there and move along a bit oops gone past it now, there we go, feature selection so this sort of major settings here like, like the face structuring, the shapes um, if you go down you can alter the nose go to the nose, the eyes, and this universal shapes there. So up here it says number four. We've already done that because it's here, but you can access it there as well. I believe you've already done it. Maybe we haven't. Ah, now it's new, sorry. Yep, so if you click on nose here, there's different settings you can access there. Oops. Made his nose a bit squiff. Different settings there you can access as regards to the nose. Number five is the mouth. Number six is the eyes. I won't go through all the settings now because there's too many. Number seven is the cheeks. Number eight is the jaw. So you can like remove his chin there. <laughs> um, and the teeth. Ears. And different neck settings eyebrows I'm not sure what all these do at the moment but uh, maybe I'll add a comment later on when I find out and I haven't exported it yet because I'm having trouble exporting at the moment so I just basically wanted to tell you how to just make uh, different head shapes etc so um, when you do manage to export them let me know how it's done and uh, You'll be able to add it onto any new characters in your game world, etc. And it should all be good. And don't forget the you can move around with the mouse button here. So in this video we covered uh some of the settings you can use um when creating head morphs. And uh thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh and stay tuned for more videos.